Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we do build challenges and fun Sims 4 related things on this channel all the time. Today we are finally building our first $1 million mansion in The Sims 4. This is Bloomcrest, the world where every lot increases in price and we have made it all the way down to here. This is going to be our first $1 million mansion build in The Sims 4 in this world. I'm nervous. I do have a playlist for this entire build series which I'll link down below. You can catch up on all the lore and all the builds included in this entire neighborhood. And today we have a special one because we are building for Theo's father. Theo is the main character that we've been following through a lot of this build series and this is his dad River Hoffland. We're gonna be building the house that Theo grew up in. This is gonna be the house where River raised his family with his wife who recently passed away. And we haven't really dove too far into the story behind Theo other than the fact that he owned the greenhouse cafe which was passed down to him by his parents so we are going to get into that whole lore today but let's start building this house because this is going to take me freaking forever so the style for the house today is going to be a lot more traditional a lot more vintage looking than the ones that we've been doing especially on the interior looking at this neighborhood here I want to make sure this street is finished off looking really cohesive so I'm looking at that house over on the end with the green roof. I know for sure no matter what we do I want to have that green roof to pull it all together. I want to make sure we're going to have tons of room to be able to spend all the money that we need to. I also want to build a basement for sure so let's just get this shell out of the way. Okay our shell kind of looks like a turtle right now <laughs> or like a lizard of some kind. I'm going to raise it up. I want to make sure that I add the balconies and everything on this build before we continue on. So I'm going to go in and get a rounded deck here. I want to add this I think to the front. So I'm going to take two pieces and rotate them and then once they're on there we're just gonna pull it all the way across like that we're gonna fill in that little gap and then I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing on top I'm gonna make sure my grid is on so I can easily copy and paste this up to the next level so we'll keep that there like that and then I think I want to do one more over here I kind of left that piece hanging over for that reason so same thing I'm just gonna connect my decks on there I might pull this one out a little bit and then I can just connect them and we'll be able to hold up that like overhang part okay for now I think I want to start to roof it let's go ahead and get a hipped roof. I'm gonna put that on there and pull it all the way across just like the main big rectangle here. I might curve that out when I'm done later but I'm gonna go in with a gabled roof. We're gonna pull that all the way across here. I feel like our roofing is gonna be like not too bad on this build. For the bump outs I'm putting one here and I'm gonna pull that all the way to the back. This way I only have to deal with one roofing piece per each like bump out side and I feel like right now it's still looking a little bit basic so let's try and play around with different roofing techniques. Maybe add like another little gabled roof piece there. I feel like when there's too much of like the middle exposed, I like to put something in there. We could maybe also get one over here and like shrink it. And I already decided the one decision that I know that I'm gonna have for this build is we need to have this green roof. Let's get our foundation paint. I'm gonna put this one on here from get together. And I really loved the style that we did on the house on the left with that little roofing detail on the top. I think I might go in and use this wallpaper for my roofing. I love it when the roof has like a different detail going on like that one over there I feel like it turned out so cute I might actually pick a different kind of this style of wallpaper and bring it down like that or we could even change it up again and change this one on the bottom to stone any siding any wallpaper that we put on here needs to be like one of the priciest options for everything which I actually think is going to be interesting in this build because we are going to be attempting a different style than we've been doing on this entire series and I actually find when building a million dollar mansion in the sims 4 the more traditional route can be really helpful sometimes because there are those base game items that are older they look more vintage so I'm definitely keeping that in mind while building our exterior here and I actually think I'm gonna go one step further and bring this up top as well so maybe we can pull out this patio even more we could do like a nice big dining table or bar in there and then here I'm gonna try and just build more balcony space any extra room for more things that we're gonna have is gonna be a plus here Ooh, okay let's change our fencing I think I'm gonna do the discovery university one that I've been using. This is honestly one of my favorite fences to use when I'm doing an expensive looking build. Let's get some stairs. I want to do a double entry here and what is he thinking about here? Are you thinking about cupcakes? He is a foodie so River did open the greenhouse cafe like I said with his wife who passed away of old age very recently and when she passed away that is when River decided to give Theo the greenhouse cafe. They had two kids together. They had Theo 
Theo and Theo had a sister as well. So we're gonna have to make sure that I build them like enough bedrooms for that to be happening here. But River is a foodie. He loves to cook, he loves to eat. He's also very family oriented. I wanna make sure that we have enough room for a room for the grandkids. And I wanna have like things of theirs around, like we can do a swing set in the back or something. He loves spending time with them and having them over. So they're gonna be a pretty big part of this build. By the way, for my windows and doors so far, I've been using cats and dogs. I feel like it's kind of fitting here. And I'm gonna do the same thing in the back, the exact same thing. So we know that River is a foodie, but he's also very smart. He loves to read. He spends a lot of his time with a good book. We're gonna have a lot of bookshelves, maybe a little bit of like academia vibes. I wanna build out another back deck here. This is gonna be maybe where we could like go onto the back patio. And since I've been doing it the whole time, I'm also gonna build just a small balcony up top here. I do wanna build a pool and I'm thinking about building like a little greenhouse in the back here. Obviously he's gonna enjoy like gardening and nature. I mean, they did open a greenhouse cafe, but I don't want that to be a main feature of this build since we've been doing a lot of that in this series. So we'll build something small, but it's not gonna be a big priority here. It can still be cute though. I'm gonna get all my windows. Maybe this would be more of like an area where he could come out to read. We could put a bookshelf in here. But for some reason, I feel like I need to have like an animal of some kind back here, like cows or like a chicken or something. So maybe I can build a little area for like a small chicken coop. Like we'll just get a small one and I can build a small fence around this just to see if I can fit it. I always feel bad when I make too small of an area for them to run around. So I gotta make sure our chickens will be happy here in this tiny little corner. And for the outer corners, I'm gonna be using hedges. I'm gonna be going in with these and pretty much just bringing them all the way to the edge of the lot. I wanna make sure that I'm using as much space as possible here. And also a plus of this build is for the first time in quite a while, we are building on a bigger lot. All of those ones have been so narrow. This one is 40 by 30. So we're gonna take full advantage of that here today. I want so much stuff going on in this backyard. I do want something for the kids too. So I'm gonna put some monkey bars right here. I've been adding a lot of details and doing my landscaping, but I'm adding on the final roofing touches. I'm adding these corbelers from Seasons. I'm gonna be putting three on the big roofing pieces and then I shrunk down some smaller ones for like the smaller roof pieces. We got some flower boxes on there. I added these, which are pretty pricey, these ring of flowers. And with a lot of my landscaping done, I'm not quite done yet. We're gonna come back out here later, but this is what we've got so far. I added a stone path. I needed to do a little bit of a throwback to neighborhood one. And this is the backyard. We've got our greenhouse, which I didn't add anything in there yet. Again, we're gonna come back outside later, but we've got our pool. I added some floaties in there. On the top balcony back here, I added a chess set. I was saying that River is really smart. Maybe he loves playing chess and increasing that logic skill. We also have a barbecue down here with a sink and some counters, a small gardening area over to this side and look at our chicken coop. I think this little area is adorable. It's a little small, but the chickens in this game are literally like tiny little ants. It's so cute. So that is what we've got going on in the back here. 870K left. I really did not do as much damage on the outside as I wanted to, but let's go inside. We need to figure out a layout. So I already have my basement down here, which I'll probably adjust later. And then we've got our main floor and our second floor above. <laughs> so first thing we have to do is get our stairs. And I think I wanna keep it kind of like in the middle here. I know that this here could probably be a bathroom in the back. We could do kitchen and dining over to this side, maybe with another bathroom like here. Like I think I want my stairs to be, I think maybe here, we'll push it over a little bit to the left. And then I'm gonna have to have another set maybe right beside it. We'll keep it nice and simple. And now I can kind of map out the rest of it. This part is a little bit awkward. We might need like a diagonal wall right here, but that can open up the front foyer area a little bit. And then maybe in the back, I could do like a pantry or something right here just to get rid of that like extra space. I'm gonna be using columns and spandrels to open this up. So I do think, yeah, this is gonna be kitchen and dining. And then on the other side, we could do a living room. That can be where we have like the TV and everything. So two bathrooms on the main floor and done, done, done. <laughs> Upstairs is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because this is a big area to cover. This seems like an obvious decision, so I'm gonna do that. Maybe we have like a bedroom here and maybe another bedroom here. So that'll be a hallway leading down to that way. Maybe this at the end can be like a workshop room or like a big library reading room. I'm tempted to bring this out here, but maybe we can kind of like go down and do a bathroom up top. How about something like this? We can do bedroom, 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 bedroom. So four bedrooms up here, bathroom and another
other bathroom right there. I feel like that's good for now. Again, maybe we'll come back and change this later. And then for the basement, I think I'm just gonna leave the basement and we'll figure that out. That'll be like at the end when we're just trying to spend money. So let me get some lighting in here. We're gonna add some flooring. Okay, so I have my wallpaper, my flooring, my lighting. Everything is all ready for us to start furnishing on this floor. I am gonna do the same strategy that I did last time, which is getting all of the expensive things and just placing them where they go first. I did this last time when we built the 750,000 simoleon house and I found it helped me a lot. You're gonna see after we do this, our money is gonna drop and it kind of just like puts into place like the amount of money that you have left. So I'm gonna be putting in all of these 12,000 simoleon bathtubs. I'm just gonna be placing them where I know they're going to be. Like I know I'm gonna be having a toilet up here. I know I'm gonna be using the really expensive $5,000 one because I don't have a freaking choice today. A million dollar mansion in The Sims 4 is freaking difficult. If you've ever built one before, you know it can be very overwhelming. So I found last time that doing this kind of just like helped me out a little bit. It not only shows me where everything is gonna go in terms of like layout and stuff because like building a big house in general can be difficult like that. So even just like placing beds, I'm not even like changing the swatches or anything really, just like placing beds in each bedroom. I know that this is gonna be the twins room where the grandchildren are gonna stay when they come over. We're gonna need two beds for them. I know that this little nook over here is gonna be laundry. We can put our sinks in here even. Like at this point, we're really just like roughly mapping things out. Like this is a rough draft. <laughs> we're obviously gonna go back in and change the placement of these. I'm just roughly putting it down, but I really find this helps me out. Each bedroom can have a TV, except for maybe the twins room. We'll keep them having some, having no TV. And even just doing that just ate up a big chunk of our money. So now we are ready to start on our kitchen. So like I was saying earlier, the style in here is going to be very vintage, traditional kind of family home. I think it's probably gonna be a little bit cluttered and messy. Obviously this family has lived here over the years, so things are just gonna rack up over time. Also with the passing of River's wife recently, I feel like maybe he hasn't been prioritizing like putting things away all that often. I'm actually excited. I feel like I haven't done one of these older style homes in a while. And sometimes these ones can be like the best, like the older looking cluttered ones, the ones that look like they have had life in them. Those are my favorite kind of things to build. I know there's like these plates that look really old. Like these here are 2,100 simoleons each. So I think I'm gonna put one there and one here. We can have a microwave. I'm gonna put that right there. Maybe like a coffee maker over to this side. I'm gonna delete that there and maybe put a freestanding sink there instead. I'm thinking this one from get together. I also kind of feel like through this build, we're gonna see a few different like wood tones with those older builds. I feel like that kind of happens sometimes, especially using a lot of base game stuff. I'm gonna add some cute things in here, but again, I wanna keep it so that later on we can come back and clutter. We're gonna get all of our essentials, everything laid out how we want it, and then I'll do a little walkthrough after I've added all my clutter and stuff, because if I show you guys every piece of clutter in this build and the ones going forward, these videos are gonna end up being like a million years long. So I'm kinda just trying to like save you guys from having to see all of that, but let's flip around and do the dining room here. I wanna make sure I have a big table in here, full chairs, the full set. That one there is 1500. And okay, we are already in the 500K range. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> we'll get our chairs, make sure everything's laid out here. Like, I kind of think this is a good dining room picture for some reason. I feel like my grandma had like that exact same picture in her dining room. Maybe we can add one of those on there as well. We'll get a plant going, make it nice and cute here. Maybe another one on that side. I like this. I think this layout looks good so far. Let's do maybe the living room over here. Here, we can kind of like map this out as well the same sort of way. I think in this build we need a big fireplace. So I'm going to be using that one there. This wood tone to me it just screams like vintage old home. And I want to try and get this TV like shrunk down in that mirror spot. I'm going to delete these walls here just so that I can freely kind of like put that where I want it to be. So using Alt 9 on my keyboard I'm just going to raise that up and put it right into that little slot there. That's kind of perfect. Then we can fix the walls and I want to put maybe some like big bookshelves next to that. Ooh, we have the matching wood tone. Okay, that looks kind of cute like that. I'm just trying to connect those to my fireplace as well as possible there. Let's get a big comfy couch like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is gonna be so cozy when we're done. Maybe we get one of these like bigger, pricier rugs in here to pull that all together. The dimmer lighting in here, I think is gonna look better. So I'm gonna be putting like a lot of wall lights in this build. Ooh, these, the thinker. This is called the thinker. That's great. I was literally gonna say this looks like a chair that you would just sit in and like contemplate life. <laughs> oh, we gotta do the chest for the coffee table. We're gonna use this base game style of furniture for the end tables. I think there's a few different ones that come in that same sort of style. And then over here in this awkward little area, I think I'm gonna add maybe another couch back here. Let's add the smaller version of this one. So just a little love seat and maybe we can make a cozy area in the back. We'll add like a lamp. This could just be like a reading corner. I could maybe fit a bookshelf right here. Ooh, let's do the pricey one. Let's do this one right here in the corner. Ooh, also lamps. I feel like this is gonna be a very lampy build. I'm gonna bring in the same curtains from Cats and Dogs that I used in the kitchen. I think I'm gonna be using these quite a bit. And I don't know why I put these hanging lights under the curtains, but I think I'm gonna keep doing that too because it looks cute. I feel like it's a way to like brighten it up a little bit without adding too much. I'm also kind of considering changing my wallpaper and deleting like all of these white lights. And then maybe we could lighten it up a little bit with like these lighter rugs. Like this one can go at the front door from Paranormal. I don't know, I wanted it to be a lot of wood tones, but I feel like it was a little too much of the dark and the brown. So I think lightening up that wallpaper and then we can add some like lighter accents in here is gonna do well in this build. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better with our living room stuff over here too. Okay, I'm gonna actually start to clutter. Oh, before that, I do wanna add our shelving in our pantry. So this is gonna be where I'm gonna add like extra food supplies, maybe some like dining room stuff. Okay, our main floor ended up so cute and cozy. This is what our hallway is looking like. So we walk in the front door, we've got a little seating area, we've got our clothes hanging up on the wall, all nice and organized. Then we go into the kitchen. We've got a laptop on here, maybe doing a little bit of research or reading on there. We've got some clutter, tons of kitchen clutter going on over here. We have book clutter, we've got some like cottage living clutter. I have my dining place, which are worth a lot, pictures on the wall. And then on the other side, we have our dining room, which I didn't add too much, just some hanging stuff on the wall over there, a rug, a centerpiece. This is our first bathroom. I added an extra painting in here, a little bit of clutter, and of course we've got our really expensive essentials in here. Our shower, our bathtub, all the good stuff. Going back out into the hallway, look how cute that clutter looks. Oh, I love it. We're gonna go into the pantry. This is where we've got some more extra plates, some more clutter, some like food and stuff. I added some more of those plates, those pricey plates, and just some extra like storage on the ground there. This is our back exit area. And then going through to the living room, we have our nice, cozy, very adorable living room. I've got some more shelf clutter on there. I ended up cluttering more stuff on the top here. We've got some expensive like sculptures up there, some books, the trunk, the grandfather clock over here. I also added a toy box for the grandchildren. Our living room over there. And I tried to put a lot of paintings on the wall, like just collected paintings over time. These could be like family portraits or something. And over back here, we have our final bathroom, which just has some clutter, another painting in there, maybe some old like perfume bottles left over from River's wife. I like the wallpaper in this one. I feel like it's cute, very old style. So our first floor is coming along. I think it's time to go upstairs and tackle some of these bedrooms. Let's maybe tackle River's bedroom first. So we're gonna start here. This will obviously be the owner of the house. I wanna use some more pricier dressers. So I'm gonna be using this one here. We can just put it in the corner. I don't see this room being overly like stylish per se. Like I think it's gonna be pretty messy. A lot of stuff going on in here. Maybe we have like a stand up mirror over to this side, like a chair in this corner. I feel like this guy, like River is gonna be on the go a lot. Maybe he's like out on the town, like shopping or doing whatever. Maybe he's hanging out in the backyard with his grandchildren, but I don't think he's gonna be spending a whole lot of time like hanging out in here. I really wanna put like papers on the floor, like letters, mail maybe, like things that he hasn't gotten around to reading yet. Oh, some old photos. Oh, that would be so cute. Let's put those. It says not your grandma's old photos, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> maybe River's wife, AKA Theo's mom, was into like photography, hence why we have so many photos lying around. And these are pretty expensive. Like this one is 2,300, so is this one. So these 
these these can add up so this is what river's bedroom ended up looking like i feel like it's pretty basic you know there's like the clutter going on in here but nothing too exciting i put some plaques on the wall maybe some things that they've like celebrated over time and then our bathroom in here all these bathrooms again are just like the last one there's gonna be so many of them they're gonna be pretty similar i mean i've been putting the same essentials in here like the same plumbing i think we should move into theo's bedroom his childhood slash maybe like teen bedroom that he left see this is kind of tricky coming from money i feel like maybe theo's style was a little bit different back then we're still gonna go with like the dark colors in here i want to bring in like this style of furniture still this family clearly has money like theo had money growing up but i don't know for some reason i feel like there might have been a little bit of tension there maybe when theo inherited the greenhouse cafe he gave it a little bit of a reno to like match his style a little bit more or maybe theo didn't really show his true self until he moved out of the house or until he got older it could have been something going on with his mother maybe they didn't have like the best relationship i don't know it could be something kind of interesting going on there and maybe maybe he didn't have a close relationship with this family at all maybe the reason why river gave theo the greenhouse cafe was actually kind of like an olive branch situation who knows but that could be something interesting a little bit of a curveball in there you know what i mean so this is what theo's bedroom ended up looking like his old bedroom before he moved out of the house we've got our computer over there some magazines we have a guitar over to the side some expensive paintings on the wall and i think it's time for us to move on to the twins room maybe let's do the twins room so this is going to be the room where the kids will stay if they come over the grandkids i don't have a whole lot of room in here but i think i'm just gonna add like some toys little tiny living rug right in the middle there i do have some space over here where i can put like a toy box and stuff for them we can add some backpacks this is what they would like bring their stuff in if they're gonna go stay at grandpa's so i mean that looks pretty good i mean it's just like a, a spare room for them to stay but it's got some toys in here we've got our backpacks some stuff on the wall maybe like homework that they're keeping track of and also our final bathroom for the upstairs we've got this one in here i've been adding that like soap from snowy escape to everything just to like eat up some more money i added my chicken picture over here <laughs> like literally my favorite picture in the whole game and i think we can move from here over the hall let's do this bedroom here so this is going to be i guess theo's sister's room we aren't really gonna know much about her now that we kind of have the idea that theo and his mom weren't that close maybe the sister and him weren't that close either maybe they were a little bit more materialistic like the mom always wanted the big beautiful house and river theo's dad was a little bit more like chill didn't really want all that but kind of went along with it anyway maybe theo's in the same kind of boat so this one is gonna be really extra i mean obviously the sister has like long moved out at this point but we can still get the idea that in here there were like expensive paintings maybe we can put another one like this one over here somewhere this like tiny 1200 clock that i love to use in these builds and i feel like maybe she moved away like i don't think she's gonna live anywhere near bloomcrest anymore maybe she wanted to be like famous or something she moved away to like del Sol valley and never comes to visit we've got some drama there's a little bit of tension going on in here i think this house is telling a story so we'll just get a little more clutter in here nothing too crazy and then i think i want to move on to that reading room over there so we've got some clutter on there i added a couple more paintings in here to pull it all together and this is what our guest room now is looking like let's do this reading room in the back i really want to add a whole bunch of like bookshelves in here make it look nice and cozy i think i'm gonna do two of these a really pricey one so i'm gonna put those right in the corners here we're immediately going in with those pricey pictures i'm gonna get my curtains up that i've been using this whole time this room is looking vintage with all that brown i kind of love it i think we're gonna do a big rug in the middle i'm gonna shrink it a little bit i'm gonna do another big comfy couch in the middle and ho hopefully we can get under three in this room we'll do two chairs right here coffee table from get together in the middle there i'm putting two end tables outside the door there and then maybe one more right here. I want to put up more like family pictures. Like I want to find maybe one of these, like we can put two of these in different swatches, hanging plant nearby. I sort of want River to have like a secret talent and I feel like it should be music. Maybe we can do the $15,000 violin and that's how we're going to do this. I have to add a little bit extra
extra to this area here and then we can go down to the basement. Okay, so our second floor is complete. Let me do a little walkthrough for you. So first of all, down here, I made a little seating area. When you come up the stairs, we've got our laundry area over here. I added some like vacuums, some bust the dust stuff. Laundry day essentials hanging up on there. I added on this side, we've got our record player and our bar. This is a bar from Vintage Glamour and it ties together that mixology slash like music skill. And then on this side, I added some bookshelves, some more like antique stuff, a toy box for the kids like we were talking about. And then I separated this from the rest of the hallway because I wanted to add a desk here. So I did that. We've got a mirror in there. I brought together my end tables with some cute flowers. And then at the end here, this room ended up so cute. We've got some more stuff on the wall going on there. I also did a little bit of the exterior because we were so close here. I added this seating area. These chairs and couches are from Seasons. I added another chess table out here and down below. I wanted to add a little bit more for Theo where he could practice his like bartending skill. So we've got a bar downstairs. I added a woodworking table and we have a dining table. So since coming out here, I realized that we still have to do the greenhouse. So let's go do that before we tackle the basement. So out here, I thought it would be so cute if we did like a reading kind of greenhouse. I've been focusing a lot on gardening and greenhouses in this entire build series. So I don't want to spend too much time out here, but I do definitely want to make sure that it's something cozy. I'm gonna add, I think, like these little chairs from Island Living in here. I wanna do a big coffee table in the middle. I like that one with the different wood tones from Jungle Adventure. We definitely need our barrels, so I'm gonna put a couple there. And honestly, you know what? Why not just put them over in this corner too? And now we can fill this up with plants. I did do some hanging curtains already around the entire thing. Those are all from the Blooming Rooms kit. We also have these here from Cottage Living around the top as well. So I'm basically just gonna fill up the sides here with plants and I want to put them also on like these here like the end tables from cats and dogs we can put them also on the barrels basically just anywhere that I can fit it without it being too much in the center and I also can't do any hanging plants because our roof is glass <laughs> so after placing so many freaking plants this is what the greenhouse is looking like I added those lanterns there for my wedding stories which is on sale I think right now by the way at the time that I'm filming this and then this is what it looks like on the other side Side. I added a bug in here because I thought maybe like the kids, the grandchildren, if they came over, maybe they like collected that with grandpa at some point. We've got our chairs for seating. I definitely picture River coming out here with like a good book and look at the lighting in this room. I think it's prettiest in the afternoon when it's just like coming in like that. Oh, it just looks so good in here. I love a good greenhouse. I can't get enough. Like I freaking love to build them. I want to be in them. I love it. All right. Finally, we have to go and do the final floor floor in the house, which is going to be the basement. I have 200,000 simoleons that I need to spend here. So first I'm going to get my lighting. I did my wallpaper and my flooring down here. I honestly do not know what we're going to put down here. I do want to maybe do a music room. So maybe that could be like what this room in the back is. This is like all wood down here. Totally like vintage old style. We could do another fireplace down here, maybe with another TV. I do love what we did upstairs with the bookshelves surrounding the fireplace and the the TV, so maybe we could do that down here too. Let's bring in these bookshelves here from Discovery University, giving a little bit of like that dark academia vibe. We could do a big rug here. I could get my like living room stuff. I don't want to use the same couches again though. I used them twice already. I think we're gonna have to do maybe something older looking. Maybe like these could work, like that base game set with these here. By the way, again, like oh, with the editing and everything, even though these videos have been longer, this has been taking me so freaking long. But I hope at least I've been giving you guys some tips in this video on how to build a million dollar mansions or at least like good ways to go about it in The Sims 4. I feel like we need a jukebox, definitely going with the older theme. I'm gonna leave that for a second before I clutter and then maybe on this side, this could be like a bar back here. This could be like where we host if we have people over. Maybe when the kids got a little bit older, they could have people over down here. I feel like I want to have like a bar table as well, like a high top table. So maybe 
maybe that one from Discover University as well. And then behind here, I don't want to put another TV. I have one like right behind, but maybe we can do a big picture, like a big picture there. I could put some counters along the back. I love having room for like a sink when I do bars. I think it might be the bartender that is still somewhere in me. <laughs> Let's see, what else can we do? We can get some of the bar stuff is expensive. That's kind of why I like to put them in these big, like expensive builds. Like we know the wine bottles are expensive. These are pricey. We could do one on each side there. Maybe some more like plates, one on each side. I kind of want to put like games down here, but I feel like it might be a little bit weird with the style. They're going to have to be like older games. Maybe we could put like a chess table down here. Foosball table could also be fun. And I also still have some room back here. I actually had to like shrink this basement quite a bit, but I don't know. I feel like I can get rid of this, especially if we're still planning on doing a music room. So I'm just going to put together this like old looking study area. We'll get like a carpet down here, another computer. These chairs are pretty expensive too. A thousand dollars each for one of those. And then even above this, I want to make sure we have a whole bunch of paintings like up here. This is going to be a really cool area. Ooh, that would look good here. Maybe like two each of these. And maybe this is like a couple that we know <laughs> in medieval clothing. Let's get another painting over here. Another painting over here. Oh, you know what would actually be kind of fun if we did like a trophy wall. Maybe a river is a little bit sentimental and like kept all the trophies that the kids got growing up. And I know the trophies can be pretty expensive too. So yeah, these are 2000 each. This one is 1500. We can just put like a few of these on here collected over time. Oh, I still have to do this bathroom stuff. I keep forgetting to put my bathroom stuff in the basement. So I still have a $12,000 tub we could get. I could still use the $5,000 toilet that we've been doing. And this is going to put us under a hundred. So our bathroom over to this side is finished again, just with like a painting in here, all our basics. I finished the study area over here, which is looking really cool with all the clutter in there as well. On this side, I added this little like stand thing from base game, some plants and stuff going on in here. And then on this side, I finished off this area as well, adding more like in those little slots in the bookshelves. Our trophy shelf is all complete. And in the back here, I added some more like wine bottles and just extra things that would eat up money. And now we have 69K left, which we are going to spend on this music room. So this is going to be something that I think River is going to be a little bit quiet about. This could totally just be a hobby that he has for himself. Doesn't really like to share it with anyone else. That's why this is like the room hidden away in the basement. I got some matching chairs in here. We're going to get maybe some end tables from let's do Discovery University. I think we should do a microphone right in the middle. We can get some singing done in front of the mirror. How many violins do you think is too many? Obviously, I'm not going to add like a whole wall of them like I did in the multi-million dollar mansion build, but we can do like four, right? And now we only have 5,000 left to spend. Let's do it. Okay. I think we should definitely have a couple speakers in here. So I'm going to put two in each corner. We're going to get our lights in here. I want to put some pictures up. I can't use the same paintings that I've been using. Like these ones, we'll do one there and then maybe another one on this side in a different swatch. Let's get, what are these guitars? This is 2,400. Now we are below 1,000 simoleons. Let's go. Okay. Maybe we'll do like this one on that side. 216. I feel like I have to pull it off with a plant. We've been ending every single one with a plant. 210. This one's going in the corner and that is that. Million dollar mansion in The Sims 4 is complete. Again, this is our million dollar mansion build in The Sims 4. This is going to be on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta and also it'll be included in the Bloomcrest save file once we are finished. I hope you guys like this video. This took me so freaking long. Um, And if you guys are liking this series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.